Hey guys, Soul Closet here, back with another Minecraft video. Woohoo, Minecraft, anyway. Um, I'm sure this is probably better than Black Ops Wii. So, today we are going to be doing a tutorial on how to install the Fossil and Archaeology mod in its latest 1.4.7 release. This was requested by my friend Jacob. If he had a YouTube channel, I would link it in the description. If he has one and I don't know, or he makes one and comments on this video, you can probably see him. Because, I mean, like, I get new comments. So, um, oh yeah, don't forget to sub. When I get 50 subs, I will be doing a special video. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's one thing I can promise you that I'm actually going to do this time. Yeah, yeah, 50 sub video happening. Uh, I'm at 47, come on, guys. Um, so, anyway, enough random self-promotion and friends and shit. Screw social life. You're going to want to go here, but not yet. You're going to want to go to the link in the description to 7-zip.org. Is that it? Yes. Okay. You want to go to 7-zip.org. Link in the description. That will be the first link. Okay. And you're going to want to click download where it says .exe. This assumes you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8 with administrator permissions, okay? You want to have admin permissions to open all this shit that we have to open. Anyway, download that. Now, I already have it, but basically what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to run this program. It's the installer. I'm going to go and delete it, but you're going to want to run that, and it will install the program 7-zip. It is totally safe. I've scanned my computer a million times. I know it's safe. I've been using it for probably a year and a half. It's totally fine. But you're going to need it. Okay, now, back to here with the dinosaur. This will be the second link in the description, okay? Second link. You're going to want to go down here. This will be closed. Where it says download and installation, and you're going to want to click show. Then middle click, so click in the middle mouse button. If you're on a laptop, just regular click or right click and open a new tab. The direct. I, of course, forgot to middle click. Anyway, you're going to want to click this download button in the little media fire box. That's the only one you can trust. I have ad block, but if you don't, there will be lots of them probably. Click the one that's right here. Okay. Now, you're going to want to go back to here. So, let that download. Now, back at the Download and Installation tab, where you just were, you're going to want to middle-click on Main Forge Download. Okay? Oh. Well, we can solve that. Go up to the top of the page, where it says, We are in the process of migrated, of migrated the Fred from blah, 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 blah to here. Click on blah, blah, blah. Open it. Well, what the what? What? Balls. What? How did... My internet works. This is actually kind of important. Like, really important. Okay. I'm gonna do something. There will be links in the description. So, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. But you're going to end up in the same place. There'll be a link. Totally fine. So, files. Okay. I will give you guys the link to what I'm doing. It's just that I have to do it separately because, yeah. So, this will be the third link in the description. And you won't have to do all this stuff with AdFly. Because AdFly is a dick. Um, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay. I guess you will have to do stuff with AdPly. Anyway, um, I will give you guys this link right here. So I've actually got to keep this tab open. But now you will have these two things downloaded. If you're in Google Chrome, you can see them right there. Assuming you are in Google Chrome, you can minimize Google Chrome after you click on the little arrow and click Show in Folder. That'll pop up this. 
close out of or minimize Google Chrome, move the zip folder, Fossil Archaeology Mod 1.47 Build 0002 to your desktop. Then find Minecraft Forge Universal 147660497 and move that to your desktop. You will need those two files. Okay? Good. Now, they might not have this 7-zip logo on here. If they don't, you're going to want right to right-click on Minecraft Forge. Okay? Open with. Choose Default Program. And More Options. Look for another app on this PC. And you're gonna, you would go to Program Files 7-zip, 7ZFM. Okay? So, Program Files 7-zip, 7ZFM. That's where you're going to want to go. Set that as your default zip opener. If you already have a zip opener, totally cool. Open that up and leave it open. Now, again, this is why you need to be on Windows and shit. Go to start. Now, if you're on Windows 8, go to the big metro screen and type in the word run. Find this program. If you're on Windows 7, click the Start button in the bottom left corner, and in the search bar, type in Run, and you will find a program with this icon suggested to you. Open it up, and you'll see this. No matter which version you're on, you will see this. Now, type in this. Percent symbol. So that's Shift 5 on a normal U.S. keyboard. So, percent symbol, A, P, P, D, A, T, a, and another percent symbol, then press enter. That'll open up this box. At the top, or near the top, you should see dot Minecraft. Click on that. Okay? Then, you should see a folder called bin. Again, near the top. Maybe, but it's called bin. Click that. You'll see a, fo a file called Minecraft. You're going to want to right-click on that, and open it with 7-zip like you did over here. I already have mine opening to 7-zip automatically, but that's just me. I do this a lot. So open that with 7-zip. So you should have this, the Minecraft file, and you should have this, the Forge file, Minecraft Forge. You'll see that the one with for actual Minecraft has a lot more files in it. See all those files? Yeah, that's how you can tell the difference. So, you're going to want to take all of the files from Minecraft Forge... Okay, all of those, wait, I actually need to select all of them. You want to make sure it's all of them, too. Important. Take all of them and drag them in. You'll click OK, or yes, and then you want to delete the folder called META-INF, made it inf, in Minecraft. X out of both of those boxes, and run Minecraft. If done correctly, you should get this little box saying FML is setting up your Minecraft environment. That's not fuck my life, that's Forge Mod Loader. And you should see a mods button, and you should see all this. And you'll be like, whoa, what does that mean? Well, nothing yet, but it's a good sign, okay? Now, if you already have Forge, you'll be jumping in at this point. So, welcome. When you open up your Minecraft, you should see this. Good job, Forge user. Good job. X out of Minecraft. Open the zip folder for Fossil Archaeology Mod 1.47. Build 0002 in 7-zip. Wait. No, you don't need to do that. Sorry. Make sure you know where that zip file is. Go back to run. Percent F data percent. Dot Minecraft. Bin. Inside the Minecraft file with 7-zip. Oh my god, I'm stupid. Okay. Okay, okay. Blah, blah, blah. Run app data percent dot Minecraft. You will see a folder called mods. Open it up. Should be blank. If you're already a Forge user, you may have something in here. That's okay. Take the fossil and archaeology mod and just drop the zip in there. Nothing else required. Almost positive it'll work. X out. Open up Minecraft. Should do fine. Yes? No? 
question marks. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Well, that shouldn't have happened. Go back to dot Minecraft and mods. Take that out. Oh my god, I deleted it. Don't delete it. Put it back on your desktop. And open it up in 7-zip. Go back to dot Minecraft, bin, Minecraft file. Open it up in 7-zip. Take all the folders. For, take fossil and mcmod.info. Pop them right in. Okay. Go to Minecraft. If this doesn't work, I don't know what will. Good! I knew that would work. Totally knew that would work. Totally. Not really. Um, if you click on mods, you should see fossil and archaeology mod. That's how you know it worked. If you open up a world such as redstone shit in creative mode. Oh, look at all these things I have. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That's how you know you did it right. Okay, there you go. You've got everything you need to be fossily or whatever you do in this mod. I literally have never used it before except for right now. Um, there seems to be an unfinished item called a whip. Hmm, could be interesting. Anyway, that's up for the users to decide, such as Jacob and all others that watch this video, and use it to their full advantage. Anyway, you can quit out of Minecraft or just play. But whatever your circumstances, you now have the Fossil and Archaeology mod. Hey, 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 guys, guys. Did you know that...